Hello there, I'm Tommy. In a previous video I showed you the problem with the flat earth sun not moving 15 degrees every hour like we can observe all over the globe. Today I have a problem with the inclination angle of the sun. So I start here in my home in Norway and when I go all across the earth to the other side I end up past New Zealand and out in the ocean between New Zealand and Antarctica. So when you go back to the flat earth model, this is Norway where I live, this is the sun when it's at highest in the winter and in the summer, and this is the sun in the summer night and this is at the winter night. So the difference between a dark, dark summer's night and a bright winter's day is 3 degrees, 3.2 degrees from where it has, I'm just going to turn it here, rotate a bit, this is where I can see the sun up in the sky at a winter's day at 62.4 degrees and this is where it is at a dark summer's night at 65.6 degrees that is a difference of 3.2 degrees and the sun 800 miles apart 880 miles apart so the light from that sun has to be razor sharp because this is the difference between night and day but it's not like that in Norway in the winter the sun is well above the horizon and in the summer the sun is well below the horizon so 3 degrees is like a razor sharp sunlight how is that? And if we move down to New Zealand, and as I said in a previous video, as long as this is on the opposite side of the globe, we should have about the same sunny conditions. But check this out. Here is the winter sun in the day in the daylight and the summer sun in the night how can this be this is something else altogether this should be just the same as i see here in norway So these two models should be the same, but it isn't. And as I said before, something needs explaining. Okay, and the second thing I want to do is just simply ask some questions because I have no idea how this works on the flat earth. When we have meteor showers, the meteors looks like it came, comes from all over the globe. Like, sorry, this takes a little time. This. So when the meteorites hits our atmosphere, they go from one point and all over the globe. It looks like it come from one point, but it's spread out all over. So, the thing I don't understand about the globe, now about the dome, sorry, about the dome is when meteorites come from outer space and hits the dome, what happens 
when hit it at this ang angle straight on is it a ding and then bounce off or what is it and if they hit here is this when they make those flaming tracks or what just what what happens when a meteorite hits the dome or do you do you don't have any meteorites on a flat earth and what happens if they have hit from another angle from this side or this side I can rotate it but you know what I mean this is just curiosity what what happens in meteor showers we have a couple or three of them quite large every year the Leonides, uh, Perseids, yeah so just curious actually happens. Hmm? Bye.